The world lost a luminary recently. Its name, hip hop. And it drowned from too much and champagne. What the hell happened to you, hip hop? Artists with names like Terminator X and Furious Five and with attitude once preached about social awareness and political enlightenment. When did fight the power become wait till you see my d I started off in this game, heart full of high hopes, young and naive, notebook full of fly quotes, critically acclaimed, they say crooked eyes dope, doper than white coat, walking a tight rope, trying not to fall, this industry see it got trapped, record executives rape you with them paper contracts, got my first deal and they pulled out my arteries, shot me in the heart, I mean they killed the best part of me, asked me to be a gimme, no my artistry, ain't nobody hard as me, being RG, told you crooked go hard, told you it's a cheat day, with hands or no hands? No, no hands. No hands. Okay, or it doesn't count. We're good? <laughs> guys, yes, let's have the game and uh, let's get started. You guys can pick the starter. Hey guys, I'm here with Greg Rowe, who is a, a big creator of this competition. Greg, it's so nice to meet you. I'm a huge fan. Been watching your tricks for a long time. Thank you. Yeah, we've been around for a long time. Awesome. So this is the first ever competition. First ever. First How do you ever. feel about it? How does it work? This is it's amazing. What happened? Basically, what we did, we made an online registration. These guys submitted their videos through the hashtag GT Games. We picked the best of the best from around the world and basically said, guys, you got an invite to come to the world's first garden trampoline official competition. And this is what you see. Ain't no competition. Ain't no competition. Woo! Ain't no competition. Ain't no competition. My city behind me. You're beside me. You haters come find me. Ain't no this microphone. Ain't no competition. Hey! Ain't no competition. Ain't no competition. Hey! Ain't no competition. My city behind me. So my name is Samer Sudani and uh, I'm the owner and founder of Altitude Norway. Altitude is a franchise uh, from the States. Uh, we're very excited to actually bring it to Norway. We started this uh, facility through an inspiration with my son. My son jumps on uh, trampolines and I believe that uh, trampolines is the new, you know, is the new sports of the new generation. Well, I think, you know, there's a lot of uh, evolution. The trampoline park industry has been, uh, you know, in, um, in shape for a long time now. But I think there's been a lot of controversy about trampoline park safety. I think the percentage of, um, you know, of, of injuries in a trampoline park is by far less than any other, you know, sports. Uh, I think it's all about making sure that trampoline parks adopt the best processes and systems in terms of safety. That's why we've partnered with you know, organizations like Greg and his team to make sure that we have all our court monitors certified and trained because if you do it right and if you take the children through a process of a step-by-step -step approach, uh, you know, it would make the sport much, much more safer. I went to university, I got a kinesiology degree, and I was able to really put some science behind what I knew already. We are taking that Olympic-style training, adapting it to hear so this and seeing how the in. general Maybe public can benefit like from those. it. From now on, from the moment you step into that door, there's a whole new level of control. Even before they step foot anywhere close, they're doing a proper warm up. They're going through proper exercises. They're learning an education process. And everyone knows this process. The parents are gonna know it. The kids are gonna know it. Employees are gonna know it. The managers know it. And everyone's behind this new curriculum. I have complete faith in the coaches now. You should see the way they talk. They come to me and I say, oh my gosh, Greg, this works, this is amazing. The clients are now coming to us now saying, wow, I had no idea, it was so easy to be so safe. If the monitor understands the basics and they understand the psychology, then they can say, oh, okay, I know what's gonna happen here. I've already seen this before. And then I need to go back a step, say, okay, here's the most basic step. Head is back, legs are up, arms are in, these kind of things, and start from scratch. The person will learn instantly. Oh, now I understand, now I get it. You don't need to just let people do whatever they want. There has to be an education process. And all the monitors that are on the floor, they need to understand you have to get in there, you have to get your hands dirty, and you gotta help people out. 
this is great, I hope every park does this. And this is the real feedback we're getting. And it's honestly, it, it really, <laughs> it makes me get a little bit tingly because I can see something I put 20 years of experience into and now I can see it work. And it's such a short amount of time. Over the course of a weekend, people are already switching their entire mindset. That is extremely hard to do and that's what gives me faith in this process. Simple as that.